Rotate arms upright. Lift the forearms to vertical and move the elbows away from the torso. The elbows are relatively stable in one position. The palms should be opened by separating the thumb and the index finger. There is a slight curve in the palm. The axis is through the middle finger and forearm to the elbow. Turn the palms until they face forward, then the other way so they face in. Rotate again forward and back, again and again, nice and loose, no force. Turning of the forearms is done throughout the Tai Chi set. All arm movements are done with the forearms turning all the time. They rotate constantly, either inwards or outwards. Rotate arms sideways. Lift the elbows forward and position both forearms sideways, one on top of another. The palms are centered in front of the body. The axis is again from the middle finger through the forearm to the elbow. Turn the top palm out while the lower palm turns in. Describe a circular motion with the palms orbiting around each other, the top one pushing out while the bottom one scoops in. The bottom arm turns in towards the torso, leading with the little finger. Scooping up and dropping the elbow will bring the arm up. Then turn the palm and forearm outwards and bringing them into the top position, extend the arm with the thumb leading. Let the shoulder and elbow loosen slowly so the palm can go forward and straighten the arm with the thumb always leading the way. When the arm is straight, turn the forearm the other way while slowly relaxing the shoulder and letting the elbow drop. As the palm turns towards the torso, it becomes the lower of the two arms and begins to scoop inwards. Danyu, stretch or elongate the lower part of the spine. Stand with the feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing straight forward and squared. Prepare to lower the torso. Arms are straight out forward, parallel to each other at shoulder height. Turn the palms downward and relax arms. Lower the torso. Let the whole body lower straight down with palms pressing down. Lead by the tailbone or the bum. Feel the weight fall into the center of the feet. The knees stay lined up with the toes, but they do not go more forward than or past the toes. Going down in the Danyu, go only as low as the balance is secure when that point is reached, prepare to go up. Turn the forearms so the palms face up. Raise the head by tucking the chin slightly in and start to rise up. Lead with the head. The hips rise forward while the knees go back and the hands slowly reach forward. When the legs are straight and the arms extended forwards, as in the beginning, turn the palms downward and repeat the process. The aim is to relax and fold all the lower joints equally so that a vertical straight line is maintained from head to center of feet. Toryu left. Stretch or elongate the upper part of the spine. Pushing back. The left foot straight forward in front and the right foot at a 45 degree angle in the back. With arms extended forward and weight in the front foot, start to rise up to the top of the head by straightening the front leg. At the same time, the elbows relax. 
wrists start to come together with the left on top of the right. At this point, both legs are straight and the weight is even on both feet. The torso is centered between 45 degrees and straight forward. The arms are crossed at the heart level. Sink down into the back foot by slowly relaxing all the joints of the back leg. Wrists are crossed, centered and at heart level. As you sink down into the back leg, allow the palms to press down slightly. Arms are still rounded. The torso is now facing the front right corner. Going forward. From this back position, open the left side from the right as you rise up to the center. You are opening the left side of the body which separates the arms while the elbows drop and the hands are at heart level. Start to rise up to the top of the head by straightening the back leg. When both legs are straight and the weight is even on both feet, the torso is centered between 45 degrees and straight forward. Arms are parallel to each other at heart level pushing out. As you sink down into the front foot, extend the arms forward. Hips and shoulders are now squared to the front foot. Toryu right. Stretch or elongate the upper part of the spine. Pushing back. The right foot straight forward in front and the left foot at a 45 degree angle in the back. With arms extended forward, weight in the front foot, start to rise up to the top of the head by straightening the front leg. At the same time, with elbows relaxed, the wrists start to come together with the right on top of the left. At this point, both legs are straight and your weight is even on both feet. Torso is centered between 45 degrees and straight forward. Arms are crossed at heart level. Sink down into the back foot by relaxing slowly all the joints of the back leg. Wrists are crossed, centered and at heart level, and as you sink down into the leg, Allow the palms to press down slightly. Arms are still rounded. The torso is now facing the front left corner. Going forward. From this back position, open the right side from the left as you rise up to the center. You are opening the right side of the body which separates the arms while the elbows drop and the hands are at heart level. Start to rise up to the top of the head by straightening the back leg. When both legs are straight and the weight is even on both feet, the torso is centered between 45 degrees and straight forward. Arms are parallel to each other at heart level, pushing out. As you stretch down into the front foot, extend the arms forward. Hips and shoulders are now squared to the front foot. Toryu left, extra stretching to elongate the upper part of the spine. Pushing back. The left foot straight forward in front and the right foot at a 45 degree angle in the back. With arms extended forward, weight in the front foot, start to rise up to the top of the head by straightening the front leg. At the same time, the elbows relax. Wrists start to come together with the left on top of the right. At this point, both legs are straight and the weight is even on both feet. The torso is centered between 45 degrees and straight forward. Arms are crossed at heart level. 
sink down into the back foot by relaxing slowly all the joints of the back leg. Wrists are crossed, centered and at heart level, and as you sink down into the leg, allow the palms to press down slightly. Arms are still rounded. Torso is now facing the front right corner. Going forward. From this back position, open the left side from the right as you rise up to the center. You are opening the left side of the body which separates the arms while the elbows drop and the hands are at heart level. Start to rise up to the top of the head by straightening the back leg. When both legs are straight, the weight is even on both feet. Torso is centered between 45 degrees and straight forward. Arms are parallel to each other at heart level, pushing out. As you sink down into the front foot, extend the arms forward. Hips and shoulders are now squared to the front foot. The weight is anchored on the front leg. Reach out both arms as far as you can without falling over forward. This will stretch the spine a bit more. Zhan Zhuang, pole standing with arms down. The aim is to relax as a standing structure. Try not to use the muscles to hold any part of the body up. Just let the weight rest on a bone structure held together by ligaments. The palms are forming a circle and hanging loosely from the shoulders. Palms are open but not stretched. The joints are slightly loose with no tension. Let the arms be as light as possible. You should feel as though the arms are holding a big ball close to the bottom of the ball against your belly. Zhan Zhuang, pole standing with arms up. The aim is to relax as a standing structure. Try not to use your muscles to hold any part of your body up. Just let the weight rest on a bone structure strung together by ligaments. The arms form a circle and hang from the shoulders. Palms are open but not stretched. The joints are slightly loose, no tension. Keep the arms as light as possible. You should feel as though you are holding a big ball, your arms around the circumference, 